Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister Pushya Mahal. Again, I would like to apologize. Family, there's a background noise that the, the vents are so noisy. Uh, but all good, all okay, we bless God. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the channel and I welcome new subscribers and old subscribers again. Uh, if you like our channel and you've been enjoying my journey, please press the like button, comment and the share. Thank you so much. Uh, family, today permit me to tell you um, a chapter in my life that I hope at home it encourages you inspires you to 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 remain content in your faith and to pray study the word speak the word leave the word let the word live in you and use the word for your every day of life and above all pray you know um we had a mission to go to another uh, place you know fly over to another place and on this group that was was assigned to go literally there was a funeral that was uh, in a sense caused by a member and we were to go and help wrap uh, the you know the body we were to go wrap the body prepare the body for her because she had to use that, you know, uh, in a sense, she had no pets, let me call them spiritual pets. So this was her first assignment to get herself a pet. Uh, so we had to go and rob uh, this uh, young person that had deceased this is an assignment that's very tough uh it's not an assignment that you get from the, the group's master but it's an assignment that you get direct from one who calls himself the son of god a uh, son of god of anger son of god of vengeance son of god of pain son of god of sorrow son of god who sees humanity as his revenge platform so we had to go and rub this body and we did not know what was ahead of us amongst us there was nine people that were assigned for this five were men and four were women and amongst this nine uh about six were daytime traditional healers including myself so we we were just you know when you are flying from town to town province to province we came across a certain town uh where we found you know we're supposed to fly but there is a bridge guess what is this bridge see when you drive during the day you you come across different on your road uh, with us, it was different. This bridge that we were finding, you will not believe what it was. It was just a, what I would say a mere tent of people praying. We could not uh, cross this tent because around where this tent was, there was like fire. You know, there was like uh, someone had set a fire, like there was fire. And this fire we were so far from it but it was very hot so we are unable to 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 fly over and cross and we were not even going there we were not going to disturb them but we are just passing over so we found this community this area this town you know the whole place was being protected by fire of this particular tent and when we look deeper into this fire there is about three ministers in this tent you know it was like these uh uh tent um worshipers tent born again christians who are all over 
at that time they were so fierce uh this particular one there was three of them that were praying their prayers it was not like words coming out but fire coming out and that fire was the very reason the whole area was in fire family we fell <laughs> We did not f fall close to them because we could not even come close to them. I will always say thank God of grace because there was, you know, we were hidden from shame. We were hidden from um, hiccups or mission failed that could have literally handed us over to mob justice to the people in a sense. So what happened was we fell close to something, a stream of water, like there's um, like a little, it's like a little jungle forest. And there's this man who found us. <laughs> we are naked. He's a man. So he made fire also. And made us round like this like you know family he made the other one sleep that way like we were in a round form he was trying to protect each and every one of us with the fire that he made <laughs> when we woke up uh, thankfully we don't wake up um, uh, the way people think we wake up, no, we we still wake up in the early hours of the morning. So when we wake up, this man was here. I think he had deep understanding of the things of the spirit because he just looked at us without saying a word. Because if he had said a word, he would probably force us to say a word and we would never be able to be freed from where we are. So he just looked at us like this and left. You know, uh, you could see that he was either a hunter, you know, and he understood of these things. We were there and it was again, uh, a mission failed and we could not rob the boy. You know, we could not rob the, the person that deceased at that site. We could not cross, not because these people know, these are people that were so far away from where we were going, family. You know, we were going to a very far province and we had not even gone too far from where we, 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 we are, we, we are coming from, yet we could not reach the, the 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 deceased you know we could not reach this man who had died a young boy literally to me uh so i sat down to ask questions because you know that time we had a higher master a higher god in a sense in our presence because he was expecting to get um that uh, the rubbing of the, the process of rubbing that boy is like hell has gained in a sense. So we could not deliver that. We were in so much serious problems, but I wanted to understand where was the fire coming from? Uh, you are in our midst, you are in our presence, not only our grandmaster, like someone higher, uh, how come we were stopped by fire? What's that fire? You understand? We saw three people that were praying and out of their mouth was not words, but fire coming out. How come? Why? What's happening? Like, why are we being punished for something that we could not even us stop? We can't pass through fire. So he was like, there are people that you need to understand knows how to master the art of prayer with regards to the authority that you know family when you speak to the devil you should not speak to the devil like one with authority but you need to let him know that you actually lost you see so amongst those people were people that understood that demonic powers have been subdued to the power and authority of Jesus. And 
corrupted angelic beings you know also have been subjected to the power and authority of jesus and those people were people that understood the prayers they were praying and to whom they were praying there were people that had a, a a deeper understanding of supernatural power that is drawn to jesus people that the mysteries were revealed to you understand so we could not definitely stand against them and that is why our mission was was a mission failed you know and we we got to be punished family so severely like we knew the cause and we had to replace you know you lost that because that was for a bigger ceremony uh but we could not reach i i like pausing to talk about god even though people would complain and say sister Portia, we want to hear the story to the end be patient and listen to to how i look at things you know because it's things like that because that was one mission that was surrounded by our powers you know a, a mission that could not uh, be failed in any sense because it was not only enchantment of our group only it was enchantment of different uh different groups from different uh, countries different uh provinces you know enchantment of celebrating that particular body but we could not get it you know i mean every order was there doing enchant enchantment people that do us uh, um astral projection and have been aligned with that uh, use, power usage all you name it all the categories of demonic powers was aligned and the still the chanting was not working for us and we were just agents sent by these people you know if you understand the way paul was sent from antioch there were prayers being done so even as they were there were chants that were being done in order for us to go uh, complete this mission and come back, you know, so that this boy could remain here, work here uh, for a purpose that is of darkness. So we were punished because it was mission failed, but we did not plan to fail. We did not know we are going to find people that will be like hungry looking pastors with shoes that are probably looking at them like that no those were men that moved with power and power they knew you know and it was not only men amongst the three there was a, a, a younger female with them not that because of the younger female the the man in in their midst was just too much for us so family it is important to understand that no matter what kind of demonic power comes against you you need to understand that the corruptions of supernatural beings that you do not see has been revealed you know because as they get corrupted they choose to come below and choose agents that will worship them and you need to know that you have been given power because jesus lives in you you need to know your prayer need to be aligned you need to know you don't pray with you pray with authority there's somebody that is in the dark that is also praying, you know, uh, usually would say master of the universe. But basically, I want to tell you that what you are praying against understands and want to always stand to counterfeit uh, and counter pray against you. Uh, but you need to know that when you pray, you pray with authority, you know understand that when you pray family even if you could say 10 words let your prayer be a prayer of authority 
let your prayer be a prayer from a heart that knows that the devil and all about him and his agents and all that had been corrupted and disobeyed God has been defeated by the works of Jesus on the cross. If it not be so, then uh, Jesus would not say to people that could that failed, you know, uh, to take out uh, to to pray to cast out a demon. He would not say this one has to come out through prayer and fasting. You see, when you fast, you align your mind, your thought, your heart, your everything to God. Not food, not thoughts of you here, but you align it. You know, fasting brings you to, to, to pull through and fasting directs you. Fasting aligns you. Fasting makes you reach the third heavens without hardship you know because the realms they go and as they go you have to push through but without fasting your thoughts are scattered your you are, your mind is literally everywhere and there's little fear that always tells you that the enemy is bigger than you he in knowledge you know that is why it's important to to study the word have it so that when because he has ancient knowledge so if he stops you he can use so many things to stop you but you will stand with the word of truth against a lie that he will push to you not almost true but true it is written you know jesus didn't say i thought it was said it he said it is written so basically it's not almost true against lie it is basically truth on truth so family I, I i i encourage you at home to be prayerful you know don't pray according to an understanding of somebody else but pray according to your understanding of your god and also pray according to the teachings of our lord jesus christ who was a perfect example of prayer you know and uh also understanding who you are in jesus because above all those men and women those people that wanted to burn us those people that um we could not cross a, a, a township you know an area they were at imagine they were the burning fire of a community simply because they knew who they are in their lord and they they moved in authority you know family don't move in we can't we don't have authority but scripture tells you that all authority has been given unto jesus so if you move because you are his you know called by his name he freed you so if you move under this authority that is in you knowing who you are family they can call all heavens that stand against god they can call all you know god's enemies they will never stand against you because your god lives in you and you know the authority and the power of your god there are people like this um since i'm born again whenever i'm in their presence i just smile you know uh, unfortunately there are so many people that you know when they still do it they pray and the devil will be like wow you you really really sweating but um it's not working you know ikaboth you know um there are a lot of people uh, unfortunately sadly that still but there are people that will just say like three sentences or one hour or three are all depending and you hear heaven speak for on their behalf and you see you know you are able to see by the grace of god though i don't want to still see that okay the other uh, kingdom actually was set to come and cause destruction here and they are running simply because of this person is praying now you have been enabled to see clearly and understand 
uh, the kind of prayers that God wants. Set example in scripture. It's in scripture. It's in scripture, family. There's no power that is above the word of God because God does not give you examples that you just go around picking. You just need to stick to scripture because even all about the the demonic powers everything is in scripture take time to study it you will understand it you know and there are those that you still see and there are those that are standing you know like these kind of prayers are actually happening currently in my country where people do not see and there are also those where god has raised people see those kind of fires they are lighting them as we speak and there are certain other countries where those those kind of lights are like there and it's burning burning uh 24 hours uh certain countries that i wanted to speak to that the voice of god came and made me understand that there are countries that are standing in the gap for remnants of god all over the world but uh that is an, a video of another day i just wanted to let somebody know that you may not have what you think you need uh with regards to human standard but you have the power of god in you and your prayers are causing havoc in the dark kingdom they are causing havoc in the realm of the spirit because once you pray heaven hears, and you do not battle only the physical issues you understand because men and a woman and that congregation that stood against us were just 10 people but there were 10 people with fire that is why family it took me long as a born again christian to enter into a tent and once i did i never wanted to stop but it took me very long to just go getting your cons are like saying i'm going to praise inside a tent when i saw a tent the family i would i would just go the other direction because let's say it's a spiritual trauma that i had in the past with 10 people because they gave themselves yes they were dressed in the physical realm but they came to god naked in prayer and their god definitely set us ablaze like like he set fire that you know we couldn't even come close to we we're so far Yet you could feel that he'd see the blazing fire. So you don't play with born against that pray and know they are God and move in authority. You know, those ones that when you, those were those kind people that when you speak down, they will put you in a mood or in a state of being up in understanding who you are. Never stop praying. You don't know what your prayers are doing. You may not be praying for yourself, your family, your friends only. Be that kind of person that God has ministered to you, you know, and you've heard the, the voice of the Holy Spirit speak to you that you must continue praying. Your prayers are doing wonders. And I'm here to tell you to, today that there are prayers of people that gave us so much punishment than a punishment that was coming from me failing to to strike somebody you understand all because somebody prayed because you see it doesn't only affect us you see when there is something that happened like that where there's fire because of these people are praying it doesn't affect us only it affects even the grandmaster you understand so we had a mission failed again we had a hiccup that left scars but by grace we are here to say thank god i am part of the burning fire from heaven today 
nor the fire that will consume me in jesus name thank you so much family i love you god loves you pray and watch watch and pray stay in prayer and be watchful pray and watch jesus told us to be watchful and to pray i love you god loves you more stay blessed